Okay, let's see it in action. Now do be aware, although we have some green turns up there, there's no routines written in yet for the, for the green turns and we just have a line follower at the moment. We'll add the green turns later. Like I said, it doesn't have the green turn, so it can do anything at the green turns. That's without sitting down doing any major tuning. That was a little 10 minute play I had. Just with a proportional steerer. That's all we're doing, proportionally steering at the moment using a high frame rate computer vision. Okay, let's look at the code to get the robot to steer based on what it saw in its computer vision. Instead of me having to say this much power to this motor, this much power to that motor, I've made a subroutine up here where I can say what speed I want to go and what percentage I want to steer and it works out how much power to send to each motor. So I pass it, my two ports my motors are plugged into, the speed they want to go and the amount percentage that I want to steer. So when it comes in, it has three possibilities. If steering equals zero, i.e. you don't want to do any steering, then it just sets both motors to the same speed and return. If steering is larger than zero, obviously you're turning in a positive direction, then I want to find out how close steering is to 100 um, and inverse it from 100. I will set the port two motor to the speed and I'll set port one motor to the percentage steering of that speed. So that's just speed multiplied by steering over 100 to make it percentage, and then it returns. All right? If it's less than zero, we've got to do the opposite, but in order to do the mass, I need to get uh, inverse the negative sign, so it's just steering multiplied by negative one, i.e. the absolute value of it. Um, then the same thing, it'll be how far it is from 100 and this time just the ports will be the other way around. Port 1 will be to speed and port 2 will be to steering percentage of speed. All right, and then it finishes and that's my subroutine to do my steering. All right, I've made these two variables, Kp, which I'm going to multiply by um, how, but it's going to be my proportional constant that I'm going to uh, multiply by how far I am offline and I'm going to have my angle P as well, which I, this is how much I'm going to multiply my angle I'm off. So all this code here is exactly the same. So we come down the end here, and just here before we write the results on the screen, last time we were writing the error and the angle. Now we're going to move the motors based upon the error and the angle. So I will just do, I'll shift them in port A and port D, because that's where I have my two motors, I've chose motor speed 82. When I did a quick little bit of testing here at 82, I could get it to stay on the track quite well. It started going a little bit quicker. If I would have spent some time in the tuning, I could have got it to stay on. But just with a little bit of playing, I found 82, I could get it quite well. And then I do my error, multiply my, by my KP, which would be a normal proportional steerer. But then I've added my angle multiplied by my angle um, scalar. All right, so unlike a normal proportional where you're just, multi you're just steering by how far it's offline, I'm going to steer by how far it's offline plus the angle it is, i.e. what it's doing in the future. And that is all I've added to my code. So basically just this one line for the motor control just before I write it on the screen um, to steer it um, via 
how, how far I am offline plus what angle it's at. All right.